Welcome back to Lab Rash Scientific. In this episode, I want to talk about force measuring devices, or in other words, scales. I've got a host of scales that I use here in my lab, ranging from a kitchen scale that's good to about five pounds or a little over two kilograms. Its accuracy is probably a quarter of a pound or so. I've got a bathroom scale that's good for up to 300 pounds or so. Its accuracy is probably on the order of pounds. I've got an electronic scale that I can plug into my computer, highly accurate, down to grams. But it costs about $100. You might not be able to afford that sort of thing. Maybe you can find some fish scales. This one's good to 50 pounds, but probably only accurate to a quarter pound or so. This one goes up to about 10 pounds. It might be good to about a tenth of a pound with accuracy. Now, for higher accuracy, you can use things like balances. This thing is a very fine balance, which I can actually measure the mass of a few grains of rice. We're using this gram scale here, which is good to about a half a kilogram. It's pretty accurate. But for super accuracy, we can use something like a milligram scale. This balance is so accurate that I have to have it encased in a uh, protective cover so that air currents don't mess up the data. Now, if you can't afford some of these things, or even find them, you can use things like BBs. There are 300 BBs per Newton of force, or maybe even pennies. There's 40 pennies per newton of force. Or maybe you could even use grains of rice for highly accurate measurements. Now, you can also build your own balance to be able to make fine force measurements. Let's go to the whiteboard and see how it's done. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can build our own simple force balance. First of all, you're going to need a uniform stick. A meter stick would work real well. A couple paper cups for your test article and your weights. Some string and three eye hooks. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is determine the center of gravity of your stick. So simply balance it on something round like this marker or a pencil and mark that point on the stick and that represents the center of gravity. Now what we're going to have is our balance beam and then the center of gravity which we marked on our stick. So what we want to do is place one of the eye hooks at that center point, and then pick points at each end of the stick an equal distance from the balancing point and put the other eye hooks in, and those will be where we hang our cups from. And then finally, attach a string to the balancing point. So the configuration will look like this when you're done. And you see my uh, stick is balanced nice and horizontal. Got my cups at each end. So now I can use this device to measure, for example, the weight of my mouse, my little plastic mouse. I place him in one side. Now my beam is no longer balanced. So I'm gonna use my trusty pennies, which are 1 40th of a Newton. And I'll place them one at a time in the cup at the other end, trying to get my balance beam to become horizontal once again. And lo and behold, with three pennies, I know now the mass of my mouse, or the weight, which is three fortieths of a Newton. So I can actually make some pretty fine measurements with a device like this. It seems simple, but it's a real good way to measure forces. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. I'll see you next time.